Hi Techies, welcome to Techie Trainers. Uh, today we will discuss about CIDR subnet calculation with respect to AWS VPC. As part of this, first we will uh, discuss how to convert a decimal number into a binary number, few points about IP address, how to do the parts of an IP address and finally we will take one AWS VPC and then do a subnet uh, CIDR calculation I mean AWS. So let's get to the whiteboard now. On the left hand side you see we have a decimal number from 0 to 9 and we have binary system 0 1 uh, as you know computer only understands 0 1 whatever the instructions you give to the computer ultimately it should be converted into the 0 and 1s so now let us see how to convert uh, these numbers 7 10 26 58 154 into the binary system let us see 7 7 means 4 plus 2 plus 1 we can have 1s here and remaining all places zeros okay 10 10 8 plus 2 and then remaining all places 0 26 is 16 plus 8 24 and then 2 16 8 0 1 and 0 okay 58 32 plus 16 48 and then we need 10 8 plus 2 32 16 8 0 1 0 154 definitely 128 we can have and then 64 cannot 32 cannot and then 16 it will become 144 and then we need 10 8 0 1 0 okay so this is how you convert decimal number to the binary system ipv4 address have 32 bits and they are distributed into four octets each octet contains eight bits total number of ip address possible is equal to 2 power 32 that is uh, nearly 4.3 billion ipv4 address possible if you see on the right hand side uh, i have eight bits the minimum number if you have all zeros is zero and the maximum number you have all ones is 255 so the ip ranges from 0, 0 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255 now let us do one interesting exercise which is very important for subnetting if i choose one bit You can either place 0 or 1. If I give 2 bits, you can place 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If I give you 3 bits, you can choose 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, double 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now, if I give you 4 bits, you can write 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, double 1, 0, 1, double 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, double 1, 0, 0, triple 1, and 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 0 double 1 1 1 double 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 so if i give you n bits 2 power n numbers are possible okay so now let us see the interesting thing if i keep one bit as constant i can divide the whole system into two parts one part starting with zero and another part starting with one if i keep two bits i can divide the whole system into you see now here four parts if i choose three bits i can divide the whole system into two power three parts
So if you choose k bits, you can divide whole system into 2 power k parts. Each part contain 2 power n minus k numbers. For example, n is 8. You choose 2 bits. 2 power 2 parts are possible and each part contain 2 power 6, 64 numbers. Okay, remember these basic points and then now we will start discussing about subnetting with CIDR. Now let us do the subnet calculation. For example, we have AWS VPC 10.0.0.0 slash 16. We want uh, two subnets. One is for development, another one is for production. Now I have written the third octet in binary format. If you want two parts, you know already how many bits you have to select. You need to select 2 power k bits, that is 2 power 1. So I am selecting the first bit. Okay, so you make the first bit as constant. Now you see the first IP address you get is 0 and the last IP address here you get is 127 here it is 128 and here it is 255 now let us discuss about dev how it starts now let us discuss about dev the ip address will be 10.0.0.0 and then 10.0.0.1 and it will be 10.0.2, 10.0.0.2, 10.0.0.3, 10.0.0.4, 10.0.0.5, 10.0.0.6, 10.0.0.7, 10.0.0.8, 10.0.0.9, 10.0.0.10, 10.0.0.11, 10.0
just select VPC only you want to see test VPC I'm naming it as and then CATR for VPC level slash 16 create VPC and subnet create subnet the VPC is for this one and the first subnet for dev is slash 0 slash 17 oh sorry this is name name should be dev and 10.0.0 .0 .0 slash 0 slash 17 if your calculation is correct you will get subnet otherwise you will not get and another VP, uh, subnet select the VPC name it as broad and then CIDR 10.0 point you see here what we discussed 128 slash point zero slash 17 128 point zero slash 17 okay now we got two subnets created dev and then production next we will see how to create four subnets the same way we did for two